Hello and welcome everyone to more Hearts of Iron 4. Today we are going to be doing some uh, China shenanigans as you in. I just wanted to make these old saves because I was doing a little AI battle and the AI disappointed me in every shape way possible. So instead we're going to be Yunnan. <laughs> There's absolutely nothing embarrassing or awful or hideously disgusting about Yunnan, I'm sure. So what are we going to do first? Well, first off, we're going to have to secure some internal politics. <laughs> Always fun. Always a grand time. What are we going to do after that? Well, we're going to research some artillery. Hey, Sayo, how's it going? What? Okay, I have three sieves and one mill. Hmm. I think ugh, at that point I might as well just make it a mill. Yeah, it's gonna take absolutely forever. It's not gonna get done anytime soon. So I guess we'll just make a mill as slow as we are. Other than that though, I guess I'll upgrade my guns. And let's go bring it up and let's see what we can get up to. So the whole plan is to take over China and maybe drive out the Japanese, maybe get some cheeky achievements while we're here. Uh, Battle Cry, that might be one. Sun Tzu, doubtful, but you never know. Make a man of you, that's a decently possible one. That's all the China stuff I have. So we'll see, we'll see. No guarantees, but I made stupider things work. The question is, do I focus on China or Guangxi? I think China should be an easier target. Should be. And we do not have enough guns to support ourselves. Fantastic. How is our template? Shit. Okay. Good to know. Good to know it's shit. Like, just absolute shit. Like, honestly... Like a bull taking a shit in the middle of the road just to be like, wow, I'm kind of jealous. I wish I could shit that well. But, you know, instead we got Yunnan. Listen, the bull may like the shit, but, you know, Yunnan does not. Will you do board clashes? Of course I will. I'm not, I'm not a maniac. I'm not a maniac. You might mistake me for some sort of masochist, you know, if I went the stupid way. Oh, okay. Actually, have some decent army commanders. Uh, infantry really do want the uh, XP. Uh, doing anything for our economy doesn't really matter, so I think I will take the infantry expert. Just give us that little extra power and the army XP. Uh, there's only one real choice for my our chief of army, which is the offense, just because army drill. Why? Why would you do this to me? Please. If you ever choose army drill, stop it. Get some help. Because you're sick in the fucking head, alright? And you deserve to be shot. Uh, I guess I'll train up some more divisions. Just three. Get a full six since that's the maximum amount we can have. Fighting at a given time. Uh, yeah, let's prioritize our uh, equipment. And whenever you're done, you can go there. Or not. Just completely ignore me. Hey, go fascist. No need to rush it. Just do it. It's better. Yeah, that's kind of the plan. I mean, we were already 20% there, so... Like, I, don't, I don't know what specifically fascist would be doing for us, just because, like, we don't need it for war goals. We're not going to be doing any early war goals, but, like... We'll see. Opposition is done. Actually, I'm going to start doing the Institute cross-border raids, just be... No, I'm not ready yet. Not ready, so we'll go War Taxes. Uh, Type 24 is ready, so is the artillery. Let's get our industry back on track, then. Raid the guns. Next factory, that gets done whenever. You can switch to War Economy easy. Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I was like, I don't really know what to do, you know, flipping fascists would do for me, but. Okay. 
I could get that next. Eh, maybe I will, maybe I will. How's our infantry equipment getting produced? Oh. Slow. That that's how it's getting produced. Very slow. Uh do I want support? I think I want to do like seven twos. I know they're not effective or anything any as, anymore or as effective, but they're still pretty darn effective. Just saying. Do I do support artillery in there? So let's see. This gives me 25 soft attack. This gives me 15 soft attack. All right. Okay, so support equipment, support artillery is way more efficient than line artillery, 100%. And well, my uh, my man or my equipment is not exactly the best. Might want to save up on it. A uh, fort who was good enough for me at the start of board clashes with support artillery. All right. Yeah, I'm going to kind of like play it out, see what I can get away with. Make sure you get radio. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh, I need to get electronic, mecha Ugh, electronic mechanical engineering first. Fascist, sure. I'll go fascist. Just get that ball rolling, I guess. Just because why not? Anything else to do here? Nope. Alright then. So, yeah. Ugh. So, I was thinking, and this is just a thought. If, if, you know, you wanted to see some modded Boy 4, I was like, I kind of don't mind playing Old World Blues, if that's a, all interesting to you. Like, I think it's a very fun mod. I have no idea what I'm doing ever when I'm playing it, but I enjoy it nonetheless. Is that something that you'd be like, hey, I, I'd, I'd be willing to watch you play like through as maybe, I don't know. What's my, probably my favorite, uh, favorite action. I think it's the Western Brotherhood? I think that's the Western Brotherhood, yeah. I kind of like playing with them. Border Clashes, yes please. Uh, Basic Machine Tools is done. Let's get the electronic mechanical. Yeah, the Western Brotherhood, I like them. Old World Blues is like the only mod I ever played, <laughs> yeah. The only mods I play are the ones that absolutely break my game. <laughs> But uh, I love the Western Brotherhood because, like, okay, let me just say I love the Brotherhood period in Fallout. Like, Fallout 4 was the first game I ever played of the Fallout game, like, of the Fallout franchise. So, like, I knew nothing about Fallout before that game. And I'm telling you right now, the best moment of Fallout 4 was when you come out of the, um, the military base after killing Kellogg. And you just see the the vertebrates come flying in with the Pridwin and you know just that epic speech. We are the Brotherhood of Steel. And I was just like, Ugh. well, I'm not dead, but I do have a boner. That, that was that was just me. That was just mm, so fantastic. I love military text so much. Uh, let's do Institute Cross Reporter Raids. Shit, I don't have enough out in the field. I'm not making any... Oh, hold up. Alright, so I'm going to ditch that, and I'm going to go get my machines, or my factories all sorted out. Like, it's just that... It's just that freaking fantastic. Like, mm, I really love the Vertibirds. And they were very handy to have, especially like if you did a survival playthrough where you couldn't fast travel. It's just like you kind of needed those vertebrates. Otherwise, it was going to be pain. And I love the power armor. I just love it. Oof. Oof. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just. If we keep if we keep going talking like this, I might have to stop the stream a little early. Just saying. But uh, yeah. We're we getting on our infantry equipment. Uh, terrible. All right, I'm just going to mod it with. I'm just going to do support artillery for now. We're going to make it 10 width with support. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. 
I kind of want to play Fallout 4 again, but it takes like 20 hours to download for me. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a pretty ju juicy game, not gonna lie. Industrial investment done. Let's get local arms production so I can actually get some artillery out in the field. Uh, let's do army logistics. I want to do any sort of like advisors. Could do professional army officer corps. That might be a good idea. Yeah, I kind of want to play it again too. Just saying, if you wanted to see it, maybe I'd be willing to do it on stream. Kind of want to, uh, yeah. Right, my bad. I thought that was a new one. Uh, I start the border. Bash assault divisions form. Okay, that's fine. Next thing I can, I'm going to start doing some of the border conflicts. I just want to get this. I'll do. So I'll get the factory. I'll institute cross-border raids. Um, I don't need the stability, although the stability is nice. I'm going to go down all these. I'm going to ignore Japanese support, 100%. I'm going to ignore these two, but I think I'm going to get these two focuses. Cult of personality, we'll see. We'll see if I want the stability. But probably, maybe, I don't know. My answer is probably maybe, who knows? Come on. Oh, it's just missing 12 artillery. That's fine. But yeah, in the field, exercise you to level 3. Ooh! I guess that second military factory we made at the start of the game is finished. Yay? Guns or artillery? I think we need the artillery more, so I'm going to do that. And we have no more free building slots. I guess I'm going to improve the uh, infrastructure. Might as well. Might as well. What are we doing on steel? Ah, oh, we could use a little steel. Let's get some from Sweden. Because that's what I really care about. I don't really care about building slots right now or building up stuff just because it's going to be so slow. Concentrate is done. Hooray. Get mechanical computing and then we'll just kind of like yeah, I, I could go around for round. Um, I could go around for round two at industry. Jeez. I cannot speak like ever. What was the name of group that sings cult personality? I have no idea. <laughs> so fun fact, last night, um, when my mom and I went to a trivia night at the local bar, right? And one of the one of the uh, rounds was like song lyrics, so like, so like it blank, you know, they just was like, here's the chorus line, here's the most popular line, and you have to fill in the blank. And my mom and I were like, we don't know a lot of these. My mom's knowledge of music is very old, and my knowledge of music is very niche. Slot. Uh, let's get, yeah, let's get a research slot. It's a good song if you don't know about it. Uh, yeah, I don't know about it, to be honest. Not too much, anyway. I think I maybe have heard it but at one point, but... Alright, there goes the Chinese war. We'll keep close eye on it. Oh my god, China's pushing back. Alrighty, then. bit longer and then we can start doing a border conflict let's hold on our our training so we can get some org I heard in GTA San Andreas ah yeah they I didn't realize that like they they use actual songs like you know it's like the same 10 songs on each station but it's fine it gets the job done. You don't really need a robust radio system in a game like GTA. It's not like people are driving, going around being like, hey, I want to hear all the songs, you know, like this is an actual radio station. Just being like, driving simulator 2020. Woo! No, nah, they just want to kill, kill things, blow shit up, you know, you know how it be. All right, let's see. This is the ultimate test for my military. 
Ooh. Those seem to be going well, actually. But will it be able to hold its success? Uh, possibly. Oh, they're suffering supply issues now. But can we push them out? Good question. A research slot, let's get... Detection? I mean, what does coordination even do? I mean, yeah, it's fine during the mission, but like, you know, it's not something people pay 100% attention to. Just like that, we've taken our first casualty of the war. <laughs> Alright, let's... Let's get ready to fight the Shaiba and Ma. Let's show them that this is not their horse, but it is Ma horse. Or I think I said that the other way around. I meant to say, this is not Ma horse, this is our horse. I don't know. Insert cool line. Let's get professional. Like combat penalties on core territory. It's not core territory though. Right. Yeah, this is an occupied state, so that would not help us. He took the only Chinese state that is wasteland. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit disappointing what I took, but still, it's one province. Gotta start somewhere. Tree of death. Aggressive constants now. Nah. Get some professional our officer for. And the bolt attack, too, actually, while we're at it. Wait to stage a border incident. And then I guess we'll try and take Xinjiang and then Guangxi. We're just going to do our absolute best to make a complete mess of China. Alright. They're all attacking. How's the battle looking? Seem to be winning, even with the supply penalties. be able to win. Oh, actually, I think we're knocking out the infantry. Yep. All the reinforcements are coming in hot. The works is done. Let's get labor reform. Yes. Sounds like a good idea. Reform the labor. Oh, uh, I think this might be a loss. Looks like it might be a loss. We aren't doing bad, but we aren't winning. That much is clear. Should I base a mod's only one entire supply up? I think playing them right now is pain. Playing in China a lot anywhere is pain. Alright. I just lost this. Well, there goes all my political power. Jeez. Concentrated well. Gives us some time to rethink our, you know, life's mistakes. And we're 100% going to try and attack from a better supply province. I'm going to try to take, uh... I want to take Gangxi. Or Ganzi. Ganji. Ganji. I have herpes. Sure. <laughs> I don't know, I want to take this province, just to... Man, Man is pretty good. That's only because the Japanese helped them. That's the only reason it's any decent. Labor reform will get done. Uh, rural malicious. Yeah. Long-term economic planning, just because it gives us a little extra boost to factory construction, which I won't say no to. Oh wait, supplies even worse than I thought there. Let's take this area. Let's take this province, L Liangshan. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Probably butchered it. And then try and go through Gunan. I'm going to kind of like assume everything above this line right here is just lost to us. Like all. All of uh, Shenzi, all of Communist China, pretty much half of 
mainline China is just going to be lost to us because we will not be able to get there in time. But everything else is probably fair game. Construction 2 is done. Uh, let's upgrade our art skill, definitely. I think you said it well that, like, the only reason uh, Manchuko's any good is just because of the Chinese or the Japanese. I haven't even picked up land doctrine yet. Oh, actually, I kind of, I kind of don't want to go to superior firepower. I kind of want to just mess around and do like a, a Burma Road. Okay, I should want to do a sieve there. But like, I kind of want to do a different land doctrine than normal. I'm not going to do mobile warfare because that's just stupid. So, tell you what, say, say. Uh, I will let you pick. I will let you pick which doctrine I go down. I'll, I can go superior firepower, integrated, and shock and awe. I will go grand battle plan infiltration, or I'll go mass assault, mass mobilization. You get to choose which doctrine I go down, and I'll just deal with my consequences later. Deal with my terrible choices in life. So yeah, I think once that's done, long-term economic planning, uh, or should I just hold off and just start hoarding political power so I can declare war on China again? I think Grand Battle Plan? Sounds like an interesting time. What do I get? Entrenchment, planning, defense and org. Breakthrough and soft attack, that's actually really nice. Breakthrough and org, nice. Uh, nothing here. Flight oh, consumption. Ooh, that's not bad, actually. Night attack, that's pretty good. Org, all right. Reconnaissance, eh. Reinforce rate, okay. But since you are Yunnan superior firepower, I guess, I haven't clicked anything yet, so. It all changed in about five seconds. I wanted to. Uh, let's do the long-term economic planning. Just wait until we have enough political power to start doing border conflicts again. Ugh. And till then we wait. Yunnan looks like such a girthy name. Can't wait for you to become even bigger. Soon you shall be all of the land. Soon everything the light touches will be yours. What about that? What, what about that land? Uh, that's yours too, but we don't go there ever. We, we don't talk about it. It's like that one kid in high school. You just, it, it, it may exist. It's just, you probably are better off not acknowledging them. Let's just make seven twos. Yeah, let's just make seven twos again. I haven't made seven twos since the update first dropped, all right? Like, I've literally just been using straight up 18 combat with infantry. So just nine infantry with support artillery. That's all I've been doing. Rightful Greek land. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just be like, listen, Yunnan is right next to Tibet, which is right next to India, which is right next to Iran, which is right next to Iraq which is right next to Turkey, which is right next to Greece, which is right next to Yugoslavia, which is right next to Italy, which is right next to France, which means France is rightfully Yunnan territory. <laughs> I'm declaring war on the French. I made them today as Albania. <laughs> oh, jeez. Albania too strong. All right, now I'm going to proclaim a rival government. Get a core on the wasteland. How much do I get from here? Actually, there's a few thousand people here. Nice. All right, get a little bit of manpower. Get, I don't have to put as much equipment in there. Oh shit, that's something I just realized I have to do. Eh, I'll do it later. I'll do a garrison later. Albania got a buff and no step back. What, is there like 20 million forts on there? saying 
That, that was that was their real life strategy during the Cold War, and it seemed to have worked off quite well for them. Ling Shen are and Gang Shi are 400k each. Yeah, I was reading like a uh, a map that was like like 90% of all of China's population live above this line right here. I'm like, oh, jeez. Uh, or below the line or something like that. I don't know. Zunyi is 1.5 and Sichuan. That's Sheng. Shangxi. Shandong. Beijing. Shandong is actually pretty populous. 40 million. That's a lot. Hebei, Hanan. That's... I don't know where I'm clicking. Oh, wow. Sichuan. Yeah, that's a lot of people in a small place. Almost there. Almost there. We can... We're, we're, we're almost there. We're almost to our back to our war. Almost back on our war path. I think I want to, like, make friends with Germany. Add planning skill. Get a cheaper land doctrine. What else, is I'm going, what else am I going to do in the Germany tree? Or the Chinese tree? Shandong is second most populated Chinese, I think. It seems like it. It certainly does. I don't think I saw any any other places nearing the 500 or the 50 million mark. See, on is most populated state in game, followed by Java, followed by Bihar, I believe. Bihar, that sounds Indian. Where is Bihar? Yep, there, 38 million. Not none. Never heard of that place. Never heard of the city. Hey, that Poland ball. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much for sub subbing. Hope you do enjoy the content. I I am just an idiot who loves Hearts of Iron 4. And for whatever reason, can't quit this map game. I thought I almost screwed that. I almost did. I thought I didn't escalate in time. Hold up. Wait, wait, wait. I have... I, I, I have divisions in Dolly. What, what are you talking about? Uh, does someone know what's going on? Because it's not saying, like... It's not saying that it's allowing me to go to war or something. Percent. Maybe that's screwing something up. Uh, let's see if they move. That'll change anything. All right, yeah, there we go. Oh, cause it was the we won. Let's go to war with Guangxi. I think I know what's going on. Yeah, move them to war with Ling Shen. Yeah. See, like I parked them on Ling Shen. Being like, hey, you know, why don't you go there? And then the AI's like, nah. Game, I swear to God, I'm going to find these devs and I'm going to beat the shit out of them. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. So I want to. Getting real close to the juicy time. I don't want to do bank grant battle plan. Although mass mobilization just makes sense. 10% division attrition. Although I do hate that, like, it screws with the combat whiff. So 15% reinforced weight rate is really nice. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know what? Fine. I'll go down Grand Bat. I'll go. I'll go down Superior Firepower this time. But I'll do it. I'll do a non-Superior Firepower game some other time. All right. I want to do Grand Battle Plan. I want to see like. Yeah, I get like. Superior Firepower is like the best doctrine, but like I just want to experiment sometimes. You know, it's just like it's kind of boring and stale just doing the same doctrine over and over every single game. And oh my god, they might be cycle charging. We've shown them our strength. We took Guangxi! 
actually a big help. Oh, these. And now we have some spare factories. Grand battle plan is for defending. Oh, you approaching me? Offensive doctrine, yes. And I'll do more. Let's bring you to a uh, Shabe Sema. Guangxi without Guangxi, yeah. Now they're just a click or a click. Let's see if we can destroy. Uh, that's probably going to be absolute hell. We'll see if we can break the uh, the Shibes, the Shibidi Sanmas. Doubtful, but you never know. Almost done with our mission in Germany. Oh, actually, that reminds me then. I should improve relations so I can keep going without any holdups. I am not fascist yet. Oh! Speaking of being fascist, I guess that was a waste of 10 political power. Oh, and I guess we do not have the opinion. Hell oh, shit. Uh, what could we do? We have any of the negative stuff. No, we have government corruption to do. Uh, I guess we'll just go down the industry branch. Right, oh, German Reich is guaranteeing our independence. Okay, then. Did not expect to see that coming. Did not see that coming. Oof. Let's hope only one division shows at a time and just we absolutely steamroll them. Oh no, there comes the divisions. No! Oh, we shoot them our we shown them our strength! We shoot them! Let's get on that province and start making an absolute ton of guns. Or imports. Oh, we don't need we don't need to be trading with Sweden anymore. Screw you, Sweden. I don't care about you. It annoys me how many states I can name in Hoi 4. It just manifests my lack of social life. Yeah, um. Same here. Me just being like. Like. Okay, this is a no-joke thing. So like I for one of my courses that I got signed up for against my will was like, um, it was a diversity course. It was um, talking about, like you know, life under Francisco's uh, reign in Spain. You know, being a national of Spain. It was like, what was it like under Franco for um, women? It was, it was, oof, it was a rough course. Anyway, but like she was talking about the Civil War because it was like you know setting up all the background and you know you had to have a decent understanding of the war in order to understand how it was bad. You know, how it kind of got set up like that. And I'm just like, yeah, I understand all the Civil War. Yes, yes, I know the battles. I know the names. I know the places. Come on, get on with the show. I hate how stupid people can be in GTA. Listen, it's not just the people. It's the AI too. I cannot tell you how many AIs just like, you know, I'm just driving, doing like a, trying to deliver a car to a place, right? And the AI is driving down the road. It's like, yeet! Just does a U-turn just crash into you. It's just like, but why though? And not Chappelle. Let's do the, let's do military affairs commission actually. Jefferson three. I have no idea what coordination does, but I'm going to get it anyway. Can't go to war yet. The guy attacked me in passive. Oh. Yeah, okay, he's a hacker. Like, it does suck that you have to deal with hackers still. Like, you know, you'd think Rockstar would be, you know, would have fixed their own game, but no. Don't play T GTA it is a massive culture. Hoi 4 is elite Sigma male culture. Hmm. <laughs> Those are, um, words to describe what is going on. Those would not be the words I would use, though. <laughs> Just, just saying. I really want to get Sichuan, but I want to get this province first because it might help with our supply issues. 
Re really? I... Okay, I have to be in the low supply province just to... Mm, okay. Okay, game. Okay, you screwy game. Oh, no, no, no. I made a horrible mistake. I made a... I made a blatant error in judgment. That doesn't seem to really matter, apparently. Everything is fine. I thought I just screwed myself because I thought I declared war, you know, when I had like no org. Oh, I could have gone horribly wrong. Let's see if we take Nanang. I really want to take Nanang. Nanang, however you say it. Support weapons, upgrade our guns. Yes, please. Uh, what was I going to look at? Oh, yeah. All right, so the infrastructure seems fine. Okay, let's try and take the, uh, the border or the coast. Uh, let's do financial policy. I mean, everyone is single and a political extremist, sometimes even schizophrenic, pure sigmas. Listen, not everyone is single. Uh, but I am, yes, 100%. 100% single. That's not going to change anyway. May your opinion, I think no game is better than the other. They have all their flaws. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like, th there is no perfect one game that's just like, it checks every single box. It's just like, you may have a game that's like fantastic and checks like 99 out of 100 boxes, but there'll always be that game, you know, There'll always be that one thing inside your game that's just like, it takes you off without rhyme or reason. And it's just like, why is this a thing? I wish it would burn and go to hell. I did it again. Fuck my life. Come on. Fuck. No. I'm gonna lose all my political power again. No. Let's nice start researching the Air Force. counterattack as soon as possible. I don't know how much more I can steal. What would be your favorite branch on the default focus tree? On, so like, on you're talking El Generico, like this? Um, like, are you talking about, like, which branch I think is the best? Uh, I would say industry. Never held hands with a girl. It's overrated anyway. Hmm. Well, my tune is a little different because I am actually about to turn 23 at the end of the month, so, you know, I'm just like, hmm, ever had a girlfriend before? Maybe I should change that. Just saying. Because, you know, I've never really had a very expa you know, expansive sh social life, but like, n nowadays when I'm just like trapped at school and trapped at you know, home doing Hoi Hoi 4 stuff. It's just like, hmm, human interaction. Maybe that's a thing I should consider. Smoke and fire. 100%. 100% worth. But good in intelligence, see? I turn 19, it won't change, man. We will all end up gay from desperation. <laughs> Um, hmm. I don't want to say you're wrong, but I also don't want to say you're right. <laughs> just saying. Um, so in that, I'm just going to ignore every, anything that just happened. It improved artillery. Uh, could trade for more steel. Uh, oh, yes, you want to help me now, buddy, pal of mine? Uh, let's stack up and try and get, it says Ashwan. We're, we're trying to get the mythical McDonald's sauce, okay? We're trying to get the says Ashwan sauce. 700k manpower. Do pretty good on that front. Should stop piling a lot of equipment, jeez. Uh, I mean, I don't have that big of an army, so that's probably part of it. Support weapons too, yay. 
Oh, I might as well. Uh, I'll, make, I'll make some trucks. Start researching those, because. Why is garbage? And I kind of want to change that. I mean, no girl can name 200 states in Hoi 4. Men, men can, just saying. Um, just saying. Hmm. Just because you can or can't do something, it's like. The question is, should you, you know, should that be something you're proud of or something like that? I don't know. Let's go three principles. Well, why not? Create our equipment. Oh, there goes Paris. There goes the French waving their baguettes. Yeah, and there it goes. It's official. And Rudolph has just uh, no alived himself there. Fantastic. Well done. I swear to God, whenever I am the Axis and like I have to deal with Italy shit, they can never get past this area. They're always stuck there or they lose all of Libya. And here they are pushing towards El Alamein. Mm, words I have. Words, all the words. Sand. Oh, that is actually holding quite well. There goes the Panay incident, so I think I'm running out of time. I think once three principles of the people is up, I might want to just, like, chill out on focus for now. Don't worry, they will lose. I mean, it is Italy we are talking about. You are right. Upgrade the artillery. Get that cranked up. Wow, am I seriously using 500 artillery in just... Um, in just a few divisions? Really? Division templates, that's not helping me any. You are division, so 84 times. Son of a bitch, that's about 500. Yeah, I guess we are making a lot of them. We're using a lot of them. Three principles almost done, and we're in the positive again! Finally! Nice. Fight uh, could get upgraded fighters. What do I have to do for this side? I want to get, if possible, mission to the U.S. and British cooperation. Burma Road, fighter purchases, Camco. Gives me a nice uh, designer. Two times reduction for the P12. Better five designer. Bomber designer. Arch sure not. Lead road. Okay. Get out of here with your bot link. Oop. No spam links in my channel. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was checking the fighters. So P12, right? That's what it was. All right, so that's fighter three. So I think I'm free to research fighter twos. We're just going to hold off on the focus and stockpile some political power. And Japan seems like they're pushing towards the coast. I don't have much time. I really want Sichuan. And then from there, it's just like everything else is gravy. Link bad, yeah. All the links are bad. Like, I cannot tell you how many times, like, I will have, like, I could have zero viewers. And out of nowhere, this random, you know, bot link will be like, here, have this random link. It's like, I don't want to click that. That's either a virus or porn or both. You never know what it's going to be. It's like the world's worst surprise. Like, oh, gee, what's it going to be today? It could be, you know, torture. It could be, uh, I don't know. It's, I, I don't know. That's, that's not a code, yeah. Like, honestly, half the links are in Russian, too. Like, I know a little bit of, like, the Russian alphabet, and by that, I mean, I could just recognize it. I don't actually know what they mean or anything. But it's just like, hmm, okay, Russian codes, interesting. Or Russian names, interesting. Let's see if I can get Gansu after. All right, so the plan, Sichuan, Gansu. And then we'll try to go again with Guangxi Clique, but we'll be a little, a little less stupid. 
That's the plan anyway. We'll see what actually happens. Oh, I didn't realize that gave me political power. Okay. The extra political power. I'm going to go down democracy. Democracy is great. Yeah, the demo the the comment bots are just so annoying. Like, yo, here. Hi, this I am the real YouTuber. Click this, and you will win a brand new car. Like, um, okay then. Thank you for trying. Please come again another day. Terrible infrastructure. Oh, but that's not terrible infrastructure. I wonder. I wonder. Like, the, it sh the supply should be a little better there, so maybe that'll help. I really should just start building some sort of better infrastructure in this area. At least level two, because it's getting a little embarrassing. Truck's done, so that might help. Support equipment, and let's start... Oh, I should have been doing fighters, too, so... Let's move some of the factories off of guns onto trucks and planes. Alright, how are we doing? I have to be there. Okay. Let's move, then. Let's wait for them to regain their ore, though. Not going to be stupid. Wrong place. That should be good. Yeah, okay. We'll keep an eye on them. Wait till their org is up. Ooh, anti air. Yes, please. Industry, but I can do a computing machine. I will take that for free. No problem at all. Alright, that's as good as it's getting. Supply hub. I could do that, but that's just like so much production. You know, it's just like, do I really want to, in, you know, invest so much of my industry into one supply hub? Showing them our strength that we take in this random province. 1.6 million, and there's a mill in there. Hooray. Put on AA. Honest whale. Kind of want to take Shibidi Samma. Wait, I want to take the... Funner, fun, funner parts? Did I just say the fronter parts? Yes. Let's take the front areas so that way maybe it'll force Japan to not take as much or something. I don't know. It's actually having a harder time than I thought they would. Execute of you on. I mean, they're, they're doing okay on the coast, but like in the north, oof, they are not doing good at all. Like. I really thought they would do somewhat better. Uh, kind of tempted to join the United Front and start pushing them back, but I kind of want to eat some more free land. Just saying. Kind of nice. It's very therapeutic. It's enjoyable. Uh, not quite yet. Do you want the military theorists, but I'm going to hold off. Imagine if I didn't have the division attrition uh, high command. That would be, oof, probably would be even worse than it is now. Don't think I can uh, justify going to uh, motorize even slightly yet. I don't have the trucks for it. Oh, I could just check real quick. How bad are we? Trucks needed absolutely zero. Okay, fantastic. Because there's no supply hub to get them to or from. I'll make some more mills. Just a few more. Uh, there's no airfield, so I... Uh, actually, there is one right there, so I will start setting up an air wing. Yeah. Fighter 2? Sure, why not? Belay. Better. There's an armored vehicle in my tiny-ass town today from Romania. There's a chance of stupid war happening again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Always a possibility. 
Like, weird times we live in. I mean, I'm sure it was probably interesting living right before World War II, you know, just being like, hmm, what's going to happen? I have no idea. Constitutional reform? No. Should I make all buddy-buddy with the U.S. and Britain? Fine, I'll, I'll make friends with the U.K. later. Right now, though, I'll go... Let's do nationalism. Nationalism, when has that ever gone wrong, eh? I just do I think I did. I think I was not at the right place if I couldn't trigger the border war with Shaibe Sh Senma. And we're moving on, and we're moving on, and we're moving on. Planes will help. I think I'll volunteer if shit hits the fan. I would volunteer, but you know, um, no. <laughs> they would not want me. For one, I'm argumentative. <laughs> Like, that alone would make me not cut out for the military. I'm argumentative and tend to disobey orders I agree with. And I disagree with orders a lot of the time. Greater artillery. I put a not yet. Doing it anyway. All right, that's not too bad. Weapons. Radar A. Uh, I could make more divisions, but it's not really the best idea right now. It's like, why would I do it? Although, I might need to uh, prepare, so I'm just going to set up a separate army. Oh, but that's right, because it eats up all the other supply that I don't have as much of. That's probably why I wasn't going to do it. Let's take Nanang, please. Alright, I like this. I like this. Looks good. Ooh, look at all those minerals there. It's going to be a good amount if we get it. Yeah, they would... Oh. Three mil. Uh, shit. Let's do A. Yeah, they would get me in it... In if it's like the 90s again. It was a bunch of people with AKs fighting in jeans and sneakers back then, not so really professionally. <laughs> yeah, well, I live in America. You know, it's like any... The only time you're given a gun is just like, you know, you have to be in uniform. I, I know the jokes say otherwise, but like, trust me, they only let the uniforms people with guns. That they know of. Oh... <sighs> I will take some Soviet aluminum. I don't need the iron anymore, or the steel. And I'll take some rubber. Get our Air Force up to snuff. I'll try to go to war again with a Sijuan. Before that, I should start improving relations with the UK. I can start doing their... Oh, they don't overly like us. Maybe we can change that. Maybe, possibly. All right, we are now nationalists. Hooray, I think. We need at least an opinion of 75. Okay. We can max out 100. Improve relations. We're at 50 plus 30. So I think we can do 100. Ooh, I think we're going to have our relations be at 80 by the time everything is over, so we'll just barely m make it. We can start doing a border skirmish thing. Are you, you doing good? You doing good? Okay. Waiting for it to tick over. And any minute now. Any minute. That's not the thing I wanted to take over. That's why I wanted to take over. Sure, updated artillery. Won't say no. I mean, my dad was, too, was literally in the trench in jeans and sneakers for like a year. Supplies were scarce. Yeah, I bet. Oh, right. So 
You're from uh, Her Herzegovina. I want to say Croatia, but I know that's wrong. Bosnia. No. Whatever. I know it's Yugoslavia. I know that's like, you know, trying to break free from the communist uh, party in Yugoslavia. I know what you're talking about. I just don't remember the country. The landmines. Oh, yeah. No, that must that suck. Just... Communists don't really have much of a, you know, don't really value human life any. As we're finding out in Russia. <laughs> my opinion, they're still very much similar to the Soviets. They haven't really changed that much since then. Oh, god damn it. I have to hike down here. Not the province I was wanting to, uh, fight in. That's fine. And it became nationalist overnight, yeah. I agree with you. Things change over time. It's like, you can change the labels all you want, but, you know, at the end of the day, a hoe's still a hoe. Just saying. Communist Party was fine, it's just, yeah. Yeah, it's just like, you can change the labels, but you don't change what's underneath. Look at... But what we can change is... Ooh, the size of Yunnan! The Yunnan Free Empire! The freest of all empires. Let's put more on guns. We need more guns. A little bit more. Never can have enough. Let's try and this time not be such a delinquent and actually not screw up our Shaibes and Ma border conflicts. Yeah, wow, Japan is sucking. I'm surprised they're doing this bad, jeez. Right, move on up, come on. Alright, start justifying the border conflict. No, no wonder people here massively die in 50s. Yeah. Yeah, I can get that. Well, listen. Better for them to die in their 50s, brave and on their own two feet, than in my country, where they get to stay alive and then get to spout their terrible ideas. And I don't care, I don't care who you, you say it is. I'm just saying. There's not a lot of good ideas in my country right now. It's just like... What makes you think anything's going to work? Anything. Literally any part of this. I think I'll go down Burma Road. I'll keep working down the uh, British side while I have their relations up. I'm going to improve them again just to make sure that they're... they don't fall too low. Oh, we get an extra 25% because we did the focus. Okay. Fine, that'll help things a little bit. Okay, where are we doing now? So we are... Okay, do I need to move my troops again? There we go. Ah, oh, shit, I did it again without making sure my org regained. But it's fine, we won. It's all that matters. Uh, let's try and take... Wait provinces? Oh, there's two. I think I wanted to take Guangzhou. Uh, let's put another on AA. I don't know, man. If you get a chance, emigrate. One thing I don't get about Americans is how much they complain, yet they would never move to, like, England. Listen. If there's one thing I can tell you about... Americans, it's just that, like, we are very loud and proud in every single sense of the word. We will complain like hell and just, like, make our voices known. That's just because we want to be heard. We, it's not that we, it's like, we don't want to do anything about it. It's just like, we want to just say what's on our mind. We, we just say, like, if something's bothering us, we're going to be like, hey, this bothers me. And we just want to make ourselves known. It's my, is my presence haunting you? <laughs> nah. Maybe just a little bit, but yeah, no. Honestly, just because like, again, if you move to England, the pro, like, I know for a lot of people, like the reason they would never move to a place like England is just because 
he traded the problems that you have here in America for more or less the same problems you have there, depending on which side you are, of course. Um, but yeah, no, it's just like, as with any, any country, it's like, yeah, you may escape the problems here, but you'll inherit the problems there, and you also won't be a natural-born citizen, like, that is something to take into consideration with a financial expert. Yes, please. Improve radar, uh, industry, sure. Did they stop the naval invasion? Start prepping for the border war. And a core war on the Philippines. Man, they haven't even taken out China, even though I ate half of them, and they're still like, we can take on the Philippines. Like, all right, chill. I'm going to take the construction battalions, though, because I want the extra entrenchment. Artillery or AA? Let's go artillery, because we'll need a lot of it. And I could use some more steel. Yes, but life standard is generally better. USA is capitalism to the bone. Yes. And I know a lot of people here definitely do not like that and are very vocal. There's like a big contention of like socialists, especially like those who follow Bernie Sanders. And uh, actually my, my teacher from that Spanish class, that Spanish feminism class, she's, she's like, I'm an anarchist. And um, you know, there's definitely a lot of people that just like capitalism sucks. It's like the root of all evil, but I also know on the other side, you know, people are very happy with capitalism. You know, they're like, it's the reason this country is great and it's going to make us great. Like, <laughs> America doesn't do anything halfway, okay? If that's one thing I can tell you, it's just like, we don't do, we don't do anything halfway here. We're either all yay or all nay. We can take away Chinese coast maybe and screw Japan a little. Then how would you be a teacher, dear teacher? Yeah, she didn't make sense to me a lot. Shit, 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 shit. Um, okay then. Let me just move my troops real quick. Maybe shuffle them around, we'll change that. It's not registering that I have troops there. Uh, let's do cast. Oh wait, I think it wants... I think the AI has chosen this province. Yes, it has. It has chosen poorly. The anti-tank, I feel like it. I mean, capitalism is good, but having to remove... And we took that, yay! Uh, let's go back to China. Let's try and take our capital back, Jeez. I mean, capitalism goes, but having to remove your liver to fix your ankle isn't really humane, and we are humans after all. Yeah, I agree. Like, it's just like, there's a balance with everything. You know, it's just like, the, capitalism has some advantages and strengths over, say, socialism. But that doesn't mean all aspects of socialism should be thrown out the window. And yes, there's a lot, there's a bit of capitalism that is bad. That doesn't mean capitalism should be thrown out the window entirely. You, what we need to do as a society is dissect every system. Keep the, keep the good and throw out the bad. Modify it so that it works out for everyone's interests, or at least as many people as we can. So I do think that at the end of the day, no matter what we do or who we talk to or whatever, there's only so much we can do. Like. So, someone's going to be a winner, someone's going to be a loser, and people are just not going to be happy. There's always going to be that one person that's just like, this is unfair to me. And it's just like, well, we tried, but not much else we can do. Uh, Capitalism should definitely be part of a society, but not the axis that the rest of society revolves around. Nordics are the best great balance of socialism, capitalism, literally Nordics. So yeah, th th part of it is like, I have known that like, you know, people say Norwegians or like just the Scandinavian countries in general do a good job of showing socialism. But like, I do know like, so 
So the reason a lot of people in America are very social socialist phobic is kind of because um, our government has done a very shit job at advertising it. Like, you know, socialism, government run, right? A lot of people just do not trust the government, myself included. It's just like, you're going to fuck it up. I know it. We, You know it. Everyone knows it, all right? Take, take literally COVID, right? It was just like, you know, you, you, need to, you need to take control. You need to say, you are going to do this for everyone's benefits. And like the, the entire population or like a good chunk of the po US population was like, I don't trust you. I don't think this is real. I think you're just trying to control me and use this as an excuse to get control over me. Like that's like, that's worrying that like a good popul a ch good chunk of a population doesn't trust you during a health emergency and say, hey, you're faking it. You just want control over me. It's like, that is, a, to me, that is very disturbing that the government has lost that much trust or the people have lost that much trust in their own government. I think it has to do with anti-Russian mindset too and Russia was communist. Yeah, back then it was very simple. It's just like Russia's the enemy. You know, they're going to try and nuke us. So we have to kind of not kill each other for five seconds. <laughs> finally got it. Szechuan, we finally found the mythical Szechuan sauce. But uh, let's make guns, planes, guns, planes, guns. Truck. Oh, I need more steel. Jeez. Sheesh. Uh, let's try and re-secure another land up in Chabez Sanma. There we go. Start doing that. Oh, I just realized my, uh, my playlist is done shuffling through. Let's restart. Didn't realize that my, my background music was completely gone, so I don't want you to be bored. I'm trying to look into some better music for the background. Like, I know it's not the best, but it's, you know, it's like, it works, and I, I'm i not a very smart man. <laughs> kind of weird knowing that one in every 36-ish people at the time period in the entire world lived in that state. One in 36 people lived in Szechuan. That's 60 million people. So you're saying like pretty much everyone lived in Chengdu and Chongqing, Chongqing. The allies are trying to get access from us. They're trying to get the access from us. I'm not a communist, I swear. Mission to the US. Get them to like us. Steal every last province I can. Wow. They, like, the Japanese are doing atrocious. Jeez. They still... Like, I've been eating them from the inside out, and they still can't beat them. Jeez. This is probably going to be an easy uh, win, then. <laughs> Says that dies in five seconds. Uh, I want to get some interwar to tank development, actually. I, I kind of want to make some flame tanks, uh, eventually. Because they are just that good. Where's the border conflict? Son of a bitch, I have to be in that province. Fine, I'll move. I just hate that, like, you have to be in a specific province, attacking a specific province in order to do it. It's like, oh, I can't, just let me do it from whatever province I want. Go to anti-tank. I want to get some excavation, because I mean, we're trading a lot of resources away. Man, a few games ago, USA just navally invaded an H of Panama game. It happens sometimes. <laughs> Italy, Italy died in five seconds, leaving you to carry the entire axis. There's Jack for that. The USA refuses to do a D-Day. There's Jack for that. <laughs> uh... You, you know what I'm talking about, right? You know you know the TikToks, right? Uh, 
let's... Ooh, I can do Communist China. Let's see if I can eat all Communist China. That sounds like a fun time. This might be too bold, though. We'll see what happens. Just gotta wait the whole month, and then we'll be good to go. I have full confidence in fully motorizing our imp divisions, but there appears to be zero reason to. Ah, oh, well, the trucks will help later when I actually have a decent-sized army. I'm trying not to develop an addiction. Yeah, I get you. I only really use it when I'm at my dorm. I'm just like, I'm bored. It's just like, I got nothing else to do. It's either that or homework, but let's be real. I'm not going to do the homework anyway, so... Uh, let's, yeah, let's upgrade our cast two again. I need to improve my relations with the British. Eh, I'll do it. I'll do it just to make sure that nothing triggers, you know, me stopping that focus. And... Oh, shit. Following the creation of the government of national defense, Communist China made it clear that he's done not tolerate any excessive independence and insubordination. With war against Japan becoming more and more likely, um, don't tell them. Uh, anyone not standing with the government and national defense will be treated as potential enemy. Mao Zedong openly said they would not war wait until war breaks out to make a move against the warlords that refuse to bend the knee. Shit. That would require me to join their faction. That blustering idiot is clearly bluffing. That's what I'm going with. Just in case he's not, though, let's train a few divisions. U.S. and it seems like my troops are going to be defeated. Yeah, there goes a defeat. Yikes. A little unfortunate. What can you do? So he has a war goal against me, but he's not going to use it. Good, they're not using it. Well, I think that might be enough of what we've eaten from Japan, so... That's an interesting idea. That's an interesting idea, to be honest. I kind of want to do it, but... No. Oh, right. <laughs> I forgot. War economy. Well, I don't have the political power right now to do anything about it, so... Um, no. Don't worry, I'm going to make my army great. Just give me five seconds. Let's get some uh, commanders first. There we go. This will be all of our commanders. Let's go. You, my good friend, you'll be there. That guy. Let's keep training up our army. I want a nice chunky army. You will go on Guangxi. You'll go Shaibe Senma, and the rest will go somewhere. Japan is enemy. I mean, it might give us a little bit more Japan. Just saying, I'm, I'm, I'm a greedy bastard, okay? I really am. Let's motorize all of our equipment. Oh yeah, we got plenty of trucks, actually. Plenty of trucks to do it all. Oh, that's just saying I have free air wings. Okay, so... 
can have 400 planes in here, so let's put another 100 up and set up another 100 right there. There we go, we just deployed all of our Air Force, just like that. Well, actually, I didn't think we had that many planes. Create another 100 air wing then. You can fight against them and not join Chinese front. I mean, I could, but I don't know. Think about it. Siam's joined the Greater Eastern Asian Cross Prosperity here. Okay. Fighter purchases. Let's get Campo. Uh, do I need to improve my relations? I know I got pause, but I think it should be fine for like right now anyway. Deploy you in the field, so I need you against Indochina, because that's kind of an exposed part of our border. Get full 24 infantry on somewhere. Let's prioritize their equipment. Make sure they're all properly equipped. There we go. Give them all their guns. Uh, you will go somewhere. Engineer 2 is done, that's great. Logistics, mm, that's going to be helpful. Wish I had a little bit of a stronger industry, but not much I can do about that right now. Mm, I could start staging a border incident. If I wanted to. And maybe I'll try it. Maybe I'll try to get one more. Just, 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 I just need one more, just, just a little bit more. I think I know a good Yunnan strat, but True Magician never reveals his secrets. I mean, this is working, so I'm kind of happy with this. Let's get better guns. Even better guns! Hooray! And hopefully Excavation will make it so I don't have to sell my soul to Soviets. Seriously, I do not like selling civ this many civs for steel. 24. Oh, come on. Boom. Move on out. You know if you play completely exploitatively, you, know, you don't have to build industry at all. I know. But, like, I'm not a very exploitative player. Player, I just... It's cheap, and all, honestly, it requires too many brain cells for me to work with. I do not work with that many, so... Just use the three I have to maybe make something more. Go, oh, another general's son. You can beg Germany and Italy for land lease. Oh yeah. Yep, I remember. I know what you're talking about exactly. Let's actually exercise our air force real quick. Hold and then. Yeah, they're doing pilot exercise. I think. Try that again. <laughs> Losing my voice a little bit. Hmm. Are they not training? Why aren't they training? What? They're not doing anything. What? Why aren't they training? Someone tell me why! Tell me why you ain't nothing but a mistake. Search share not. So this is weird. If I move them there. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Weird. Best research time thing. Get another infantry or land doctrine. So yeah, it's just like I'm pressing try deploying them. I mean they are deployed. They're literally on the airfield. I don't know, like I, this is how I normally, you know, do this. They're they're deployed in the field, and it's just like, I have them set to pilot exercises, but it's like, no, I'm not going to train. It says I'm doing it, but no. You have... I want to try something. Maybe if I delete them and then redeploy them. Try this. I want to exercise them. 
if I was truly exercising them, I would get army or air experience, but I'm not. Is this a bug? Is this a bug or a feature? I don't know. Someone called Todd Howard. Hover over the fuel barrels. Hmm. There's literally zero fuel. I think that's why. But I... Ah, Soviets went close economy. Shit. Well, let's do hungry and I guess fishy. America, want to help us out real quick? Let's see if that helps everything. Nope, does not seem to be helping anything. Oh, because I don't have tomboys, because I'm an idiot. Romania, cure to help a friend out. No. Still nothing. I saw a clip where Greece joined the Chinese United Front. See, see, Sayo, it's just like you were talking about, you know, Greece is a part of China, confirmed. Hold up. You, you saw that. You, did you see that? I saw the number of my planes go down to 399 and then go up one. My flag on the air screen. Yeah, what about it? So weird. I don't know. I'm just going to stop exercising them. They're going to be green. I'm just going to not deal with it. I don't want to deal with it right now. Let's finish filling in our army, I guess. And then we'll deal with it later. Uh, Hubei? Maybe. Alright, yeah, let's try to deal with Hubei. Maybe that'll cause China to just die. The fuel barrels next to your flag in the air screen. Fuel barrels next to your flag on the. Mean this? I mean, yeah. It's just frustrating. I don't know what's going on, but I don't like it in the slightest, so I'm just not going to deal with it. Manpower, do we have any fuel? Oh, 500k. Okay. Not too bad. The hump. I'm day! And no. Son of a bitch, it actually is Wednesday. I didn't, I, I was going to be like, you know, it's just like, it's hump day. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday. Woo. I did not actually know it was Wednesday. Whoopsie. Hard to be on spring break, eh? What's going on? Say, so, you got an idea? You know when you exercise Green Army? Yeah, what about it? Almost there, and maybe we can just push this China war over the edge. You don't get Army XP. I mean, I'm not training, so... Uh, that must be a bug or something, I don't know. Don't give XP, they must be level 2. Yeah, they were brand new, out of the box, but, you know, still not getting any experience. It's like, but why do? Oh, can we take that one? Can we? Because that would be great. I won't say no to extra land. All right, we're taking another province. How much longer until they just roll over and die? Just take Wong Zhao. Maybe Guangzhou will give us what we want. Uh, okay, you get to stay, I guess. Actually, I'll put you in that arm. Logistics, let's just keep well on logistics. It's going to be an absolute nightmare getting that much. To get you air XP, yeah, because they're green, they need to be trained. No, you can get air XP without them being green, but like they weren't even getting trained either, so it was weird. I, I, know, I know how to train air wings, okay? I just got recommended a video that said to travel to Union and China. 
I mean, I... YouTube is a little too smart for everyone. Just saying. Uh, can I get... No, not yet. So let's just do artillery. Upgrade our artillery. Upgrade our guns real quick. And let's pretend that everything is hunky-dory and okay and not about to go catch on fire in five seconds. That good? That, that worked for you? That deal worked for you? I receive calm. You receive panic. Yep. Same. It sounds like a good deal to me. Uh, I guess we'll do the advance radar. Can we push them out of there, though? That's my question. Does not look like it, and it looks like we're going to lose all of our... Maybe, possibly, yeah, no, we lost that one. Yeah. He's a missionary force. Let's go Lido Road, and I'm kind of sick of this, so I just wanted to clear war on the Chinese. Oh, I don't have the political power. Do it. It does kind of help things. You'll go there. You'll be... I don't know. You'll be against the communists. Keep that front secure. Right. As for all my spare troops, let you in half go there. The other bits will go there. Too many troops to just deal with. 10 and you will go on this army. Jeez, almost 3 a.m. Oof. Yeah, you might want to get some sleep, Sayo. Catch you tomorrow, probably. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh. Why might. Oh, they closed their economy. I'm running out of steel. I can't get steel because I don't have convoys. We didn't help. 7.52 p.m. we're in at. 7.52? All right, ah, that means you're in the central US. I know, because it's an hour, you know, later than that here. Japan, finish China already. It had enough. I've had enough. I'm joining them. Good thing I did not just blindly accept that war request. I just want to see this. I'm just joining the faction. Just so that way we can chill. And we can see what the Japanese are getting up to. How badly they're screwing this up. And it looks bad. Yeah, my logistics is bad, I know, because I have no convoys. I am well aware. They just, oh yeah. Now I can't even get South African steel, really. Steel is not exactly an option for me. Now Kingdom Hungary closed down their economy, too. Little Road got canceled. Son of a bitch. I don't know. Chugozopo. You live in Texas. I swear to God, everyone I know lives in Texas. Like, stop living in Texas already, jeez. For once, I'd like to meet some people in my own state. They're getting pushed out. They're getting pushed out. This, this is the worst Japan I've ever seen, jeez. Not exactly complaining, but still, it's like, how are you this bad? I thought joining the uh, Chinese or the Japanese would at least bring a few troops off, but no. I'm gonna go press sleep for those precious five hours. See you, man. Yeah. Good good night, Sayo. Have fun. Try not to die. I don't know why I'd tell you that's someone going to sleep, but I did. So there's that. Well, 
Let's connect up that um, fly hub to our capital, just because that's a little embarrassing having that be like that. Excavation three, just because again, steel's an issue. Guy from Texas bought me Hoy Ford. I don't know. Listen, do not question things. Do not question what is goes on behind the curtain. Do not question why I am slowly losing my sanity. It is not at all because of this game. No, no, of course not. Wouldn't be me. This game is love. This game is life. Get another 10 divisions. Logistics, oof. Six three, please. Wonder if I have enough to like trucks to maybe modify it. If I don't, well, it needs to be done just because I'm burning through so much equipment. <laughs> Actually, it's better. Ooh, does that fix all our supply problems? Yes, it does. Oh, look at the southern front. Look. How nice it is when you actually have supply. Oh, amazing, fantastic. Also, supply depot right down there, so I will also link it up. So that could be our uh, supply port for our invasion of Japan. Do equipment production. Oh, that is a problem. Oh, that's a huge problem. Let's just cut back on the trucks and the planes, because I'm not making any of them, really. I'm making, like, next to nothing, just because I have no supply. Wow. I think I have to do something drastic. Uh, don't have the supply. I don't have the... Uh, uh, I want to, but that seems like a stupid idea. Everything seems like a bad idea right now. The Chinese are force attacking. Of course they are. You? Because you were never wanted. I'm going to cancel all the training. Choose those so... Prioritize the interior. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. And then we'll get some buffs to our cores. Sounds like a good idea. I just want to take over China. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently it is. Intelligence agency. Sure. Nothing else to do. Railroad is done, so now we have a connection to the coast. Hooray! What do I do with this other sieve? With these other sieves? I guess I make four sieves. Might as well improve our economy. Oh! Oh, wait, I need convoys. I was like, I got so excited, and then I'm like, oh shit, come on. Switzerland, no. Thank you, Switzerland. I love you. You're the best. British Raj is willing to help out. British Malaya is helping out a little too. Oh, imagine having steel. Oh, imagine losing all your steel. South Africa's back on the table. Don't know what they did. Going to trade with Manchuko. I know they'll be a, our enemy, but right now, desperate times. Just need to get our production back on track. We're short on just about everything. Uh, once prioritize the interior is done, I'm going to not take a focus. Just screw it. I'm going to lose those uh, those days, but that's fine. I'd rather just have the political power game. Get another thing of our land doctrine. And we're only going to try and take out China. 
text, what I'm going to do is delete every front line we have. Put it on China. That's all that matters. China, China, China. So if we can get, because like the only major is China, right? So if we are able to steal enough of their land so that most of their cores are taken. What's the longest Hoi 4 game you played? Um, I don't know because I don't exactly keep track of them all. So what I did do, but like I never got around to editing it just because it was such a beast, was a UK World Conquest that took me 14 or so hours, 16 hours maybe? I don't know. Like I said, I lost track, but like it was just such a big file. I was like, how about no? It also didn't help that my uh, editing software kept on crashing every time I tried to edit it for like five minutes. Like at most I would get five minutes of editing and then it would crash and I was, I was like, I don't want to deal with this anymore, so I'm not going to. Hunan. Take Hunan. Oh, that's going to, that's their capital. We take that, we'll be probably golden to be honest. Apparently Japan is completely incompetent. How are you doing? How are you doing, buddy? Oh, pal of mine. Terrible? Good to hear. Wonder if this will help any. Careful, but you never know. Okay, I guess we'll go back to prioritize the interior. And then we'll worry about taking out. The uh, first goal is just to finish up the war with China. I don't know if I can like do border skirmishes with uh, Japanese puppets, but that is a thing. That's something I 100% want to do. But we'll see, we'll see. Uh, next focus. I can't do anything about that. That sucks. So I'd probably go to War Economy next is probably the best idea. Gives us a lot of sieves, and then we can maybe change our economy law in the future. Yeah, we need at least partial mode. Uh, advanced artillery's done. Let's get better AA. We're escalating! We're escalating! I kind of want to escalate the conflict, but I don't have the political power to do it. Innovation's done. Let's just finish off all of our industry. Shit, 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 shit. No, we're going to lose again. Welcome back to uh, Waiting Simulator 2020. Uh, got a new idea. This is a brand new idea, totally innovative. You would have never seen this coming, but uh, I just want to say no to the Japanese. We are going to chill out for a bit once we take prioritize the interior, and then we're going to declare war on the Japanese. Hmm. Hmm. What are my achievements actually? So. More than a million manpower in deployment queue. That's easy. Conquer all China and Japan. Okay, that's kind of hard, but we can do that. And then have a level 9 field marshal. Wait a minute. If I remember correctly, battle cry re requires the European colonies. Mm, okay, then maybe not. We'll see. <sighs> we'll see what happens. You know, there we go. Prioritize the interior is done. But I think I'm going to call it here. I've been having a lot of fun playing as Yunnan. I never played as Yunnan before. But this is not bad. This isn't too bad. I have to play a little bit more China eventually. But I, we'll pick this up again tomorrow, okay? I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Hopefully tomorrow we'll actually get the achievement. So yeah, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, 
you know, consider liking and subscribing. It really helps me out. It helps make con helps me figure out what content to make you. I only want to make stuff that you want to see. All right. But yeah, I hope you did enjoy. Catch you in the next one.